We are talking about the spooky ghost story, Cruel Peter, also known as Mama, although not to be confused with the Jessica Chastain movie. This one is directed by uh, Christian Bisseleggia and Asilio Margheriti. Now, that's Italian names. I probably butchered them. And this movie is actually set in Italy with an Italian supporting cast, but the main cast are English-speaking. So, for the most part, it's an English-speaking movie. And this focuses on a father who has got his daughter who is deaf. Now, they've had some personal tragedy in their life, and they are sent to Italy to renovate this area which has been devastated by an earthquake a hundred or so years before. And there's like some kind of like aristocratic property. However, they, the, the past of this property is somewhat checkered. A hundred or so years ago, there was a, a young boy there called Peter who was particularly cruel, had all this sort of the, uh, the signs of being a serial killer, torturing animals, being cruel, that sort of thing. And he was a nasty piece of work. And he, he was protected by his aristocratic mother who really wouldn't kind of let anyone um, accuse him of anything. However, one local boy takes matters into his own hands and buries him alive, uh, not to kind of necessarily kill him, but to scare him. However, there is an earthquake which ultimately means their fates were sealed. A hundred or so years later, you've got this father and daughter combo trying to uncover and, well, lo and behold, there may be spirits abound here that seem to have malicious intent. What will happen? You have to watch the movie to find out. So first of all, let's talk about what works. Okay, so I think the visuals on this one we had to talk about first because that, to me, is some truly outstanding visuals here. This definitely has a, you know, the Italian European feel to it. So if you're a fan of like the old sort of Fulci stuff and stuff like that, you would just get little flashes here of of, of, um, of kind of familiarity, really. Although it's not really, it doesn't play necessarily like a, uh, you know, obviously the, the, the great Italian uh, horror movies of the past. Just the kind of the, the gothic kind of settings, the scenery, stuff like that, a few images here and there will still remind you of the kind of obviously the uh, Italian movies of, of the past. But it is so scrumptiously shot as well. I mean, this movie truly has some really fantastic cinematography, and that's really plussed by the real uh, fantastic set location and kind of settings, um, you know, props, that sort of thing. But also the actual special effects here are, are pretty to a pretty good standard. I mean, this could realistically, aside from some things we're going to talk about in a minute, but special effects-wise and visually-wise, this is top draw stuff, I've got to say. Uh, some of the kind of the ghostly effects here are, are particularly kind of good. And there are, it relies a little bit too heavily on jump scares, to be fair, but we'll come on to that. But nonetheless, there are some pretty good scares here and some kind of quite just kind of disturbing imagery as well. And this Peter is a sort of somewhat of a fascinating character because he, he really is uh, a, a nasty piece of work. And um, But he's he's kind of, guy, sort of disguised in this... Uh, the shroud of, you know, upper class, you know, that sort of thing. So no one can kind of touch him. I've got to say, I thought the acting was 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 pretty good by uh, by our cast. I mean, it's not going to blow anyone's socks off, but I think everyone here did a pretty decent job in their roles. Um, here's the issue with this film, I feel, and it's, unfortunately it's the script, because I feel the script um, doesn't try and do anything out of the ordinary. It is really just a humdrum story in regards to you know uh, ghosts possession things like that it's a it's a story that you've seen many many times before and unfortunately it goes so far that it really does veer in some very cliche territory and just silly moments for example there's clearly some some supernatural stuff happens and this is something that always bothers me in, in a lot of lower budget kind of straight to dvd films and stuff like that is that People don't act like real people. And, I, and, I, and I've said it so many times. I want to see films where people act like human beings, <laughs> not like movie cat, like written, like this is not really how people are. So you know, we have a couple of instances, for example, where something clearly supernatural happens to someone and they're, you know, they're a little bit freaked out at the time, but then they just kind of carry on and, and doesn't, doesn't really kind of phase them too much. Uh, and it really bothers me because just, just, this wouldn't happen. And uh, you kind of take you out because you can... And it's done just to kind of progress the story because you need to get from, you know, point A to point B so that we move the plot along. 
but um, the writing needs to be better to have to have realistic characters that react to situations that you can kind of relate to and think, oh my god, I would be like exactly the same and things like that. And that that's what would make a really good horror film. But this one, although the visuals, I've got to say, are extremely impressive, and I would say cinema worthy here. The story is just so lazy and uh, just generic. It's not bad. I wouldn't say the story is necessarily bad, but it's just, you've just seen it a lot of times before. There'll be no surprises. There's like this reveal about who a certain character is. And I was like, this is so obvious. I mean, it's so obvious. It's meant to be this, not, it's this shocking moment. It's just like, come on. It's just like, this has been signposted so like, straight away. So the movie certainly isn't cle as clever as it thinks it is, and it doesn't really think it's that clever. Let's, <laughs> let me put it like that. But for a visual standpoint, this is a, a very well-made film, and it's, it, it, and it's enjoyable because of those aspects, at least. And, the, you know, like I said, the cast are a, a fairly good job, although the characters are written so poorly. They just seem um, a little bit kind of caricatures rather than characters. And the only other thing I would say is Cruel Peter himself... I don't feel we really, we really got enough of of him in regards to there are maybe multiple entities that are at work here, and although Cool Peter gets a good introduction, I feel he, he just turned into a generic ghost after that, and, and rather than a, a a particular cruel little boy, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, that, that it's kind of like yes, yeah, great, that's the name of the movie, but they don't really do much with it within the film. Um, and it's actually driven by maybe other forces. So, you know, it's a bit of a missed opportunity. I will still say that I would still put this as an above average film, just about, because I'd say that I think the visuals are so strong. And, the, and I know that the movie isn't necessarily bad story wise, it's nothing spectacular. It just gets a little bump because it's such, so, such a well made film in regards to production value. So I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. Have you seen it? What did you think of it? Leave me a comment and I'll look forward to you next time. Bye for now.